tell you three. The fourth category you will hear from your pastors later. Category one will be the general one, which will be for individuals. And the first one there is that God says a divine promise of more than a decade ago we begin to find fulfillment. A divine promise of more than a decade ago we begin to find fulfillment. Number two, God said someone can expect a prominent divine visitation that will radically alter the course of his or her life. Someone can expect a prominent divine visitation that will radically alter the course of his or her life. Number three, Daddy says, someone will have the first taste of real dominion. First taste of real dominion. Number four, see on that general. The Lord said there will be quite a few narrow escapes from tragedies. There will be quite a few narrow escapes from tragedies. Category two has to do with our nation, Nigeria. It's not all that God says about Nigeria that I can tell you, but I can tell you at least two. Number one, he said the future of Nigeria will be determined this year. Not in 2015, as some of you think. Whatever is going to happen to Nigeria will be decided this year. 2015 will be mere formality. Number two, which I can tell you, is that the equations at the beginning of this year will be different from the equations at the end of the year. Therefore, don't jump to conclusions. The equations at the beginning of the year will be different from the equations at the end of the year. So don't jump to conclusions. The rest, I can't tell you. 
And then category three, international. Number one, there'll be more major breakthroughs in medicine and science. Last year, God told us that there will be breakthroughs in medicine, and there were many. If you were following the news, you would have heard about breakthroughs in the treatment of uh, cervical cancer, breakthroughs in the treatment of I see it, I asthma or something they call it. All manners of breakthroughs were recorded last year. God said there will be more this year. Number two, under international, God wants us to pray against noisy, highly disruptive storms. Noisy, highly disruptive storms. You will remember last year he told us that the weather conditions will get worse before getting better. And if you go through, if you listen to the news all over the world, you know weather conditions last year were terrible. Well, this year he asked us to pray against noisy, highly destructive storms. And number three, he asks us to pray, and this is for everybody, pray against monumental fire outbreaks. Pray against monumental fire outbreaks.